first grade and third grade here in two blocks. Welcome, parents. Um, our fourth graders have been practicing super hard. Their classes look amazing, and they're really excited to share with you the history of Florida. 12,000 BC, nearly 14,000 years ago, many scientists believe early people began to cross a land bridge connecting what is now Alaska and Russia. These Paleo Indians descended into North America following game like Macedon and Mammoth, and eventually became the first settlers of Florida. The men smoked tobacco, wore deerskin loincloths, and painted their bodies with red ochre, and adorned themselves with feathers. Women wore skirts woven from Spanish moss. A favorite game of the athletes was played with trying to pick a small hard ball into a bowl. They were farmers, but also hunted deer, bear, alligators, and fished with hooks and traps. Men were known for their tattooed bodies and for being fierce warriors. Women, children, and elders farmed or gathered food. Tilka Bay lived in small villages along the western coast of present day Tampa Bay area. Mounds built by the Tilka Bay can still be found here today. Use the app as a model, we also make shellfish and even manatee. According to archaeologists, the Toko Vega did very little farming and instead traded with northern groups for corn and other crops. The Dikesta settled along the southeastern coast of Florida. Although small in number, we had many villages near the mouth of the Miami River and on coast. Islands near Biscay Bay. We did not practice any form of agriculture. Men fished for shark and sh shark and purpose, while women collected clams and oysters. The clues were sometimes known as shell people because of their amazing use of shells. We used shells to make jewelry, weapons, and tools. We lived in southwestern Florida, traveling and hauling out sandwich trees. The Calusa never spent much time hunting or farming, but instead raided other tribes. More often than not, it was the outnumbered Tequesta. In 1492, Christopher Columbus set sail in search of a new route to Asia. On October 12th, my ships made land. I thought I'd reach the Indies near the coast of Asia. But I actually landed in the Bahamas. I shall call these people Indians. Columbus completed four round trips between Spain and the Americas. These voyages marked the beginning of European exploration and colonization of the American continents. On Columbus's second sailing trip, I, Juan Ponce de Leon, an explorer and conquistador, joined the voyage. In 1513, I set sail to, in search of new lands to claim for the, Spanish, for the Spanish Empire and in search of the legendary Fountain of Youth. On April 2nd, the three ships made land near present-day Melbourne Beach. Ponce, overwhelmed by its beauty, named the land After all, it was the season of Spain's Easter of Flowers. In 1521, he returned to Florida to start a colony near present-day Charlotte Harbor. The Calusa, however, did not welcome him, and a battle quickly ensued. Ponce de Leon was badly injured by an arrow. His ships quickly sailed back to Cuba, where Ponce died of his wounds. <laughs> Stories of Ponce de Leon's adventures lured other Spanish explorers to come to Florida. In 1527, Panfilo de Narvaez sailed from Spain to start a colony. I landed in your own backyard that was currently known as the jungle by the second St. Petersburg. Upon me the names, I demanded to know where the gold was. Where's the gold? 
The Indians, wanting him to leave, decided to trick him. Wandering for months, suffering from starvation, desertion, and Indian attacks, Narvaez and his remaining crew built makeshift rafts hoping to sail to Mexico. Narvaez was never seen again. I should really write this down. There was one lucky survivor of the failed Narvaez expedition, <coughs> Alvar Nunez Cabeza de Vaca. I wrote an account of my experiences and kept detailed notes of the many American Indian tribes I encountered. Upon my return to Spain, I published the Valencia, the narratives of my expedition. Another explorer was influenced by the achievements of the Spanish before him. Hernando de Soto set sail for Florida in 